Our organization's reputation in terms of different partnerships in the community and our involvement with um, queer youth has been a positive one. Um, we get referrals from the county and we accept kids um, regardless of whatever orientation they may be and we in fact encourage that and I think because of that we have a great we have a better reputation and we're able to provide services to a broader range of youth. So my vision for Haven of Hope was to serve a variety of youth and before I even started Haven of Hope which is in 1998 uh, I wanted to provide a safe environment for youth uh, that came to us with a variety of, of issues. And uh, one of the uh, needs that I, I discovered was that many of these youth were coming from homes and environments where they were not supported. And so the thing that makes us unique is that what we try to do is identify what the need is of, of each child and then to try to provide the services and support them through whatever it is, uh, any challenges that they might be uh, going through. So uh, the nice thing in Santa Cruz County, there's so many services and we, um, we've, we've walked the path with youth that have had um, behavioral issues, that have had issues around um, sexual orientation and it's, it's really important that we help them um, discover who they are and that's what our job is and by providing the amazing staff that we do they have great role models they have um, uh, different interests and skills that they're introduced to and what we do is we try to pull them into um, using their strengths so getting them to discover what their strengths are and in that process they're discovering who they are which is what what our, our job is and in, in terms of trying to help them heal and become the person that uh, that they um, th that they can be. I think that our organization can continue providing a safe environment for all of these youth. Um, Davina does a really good job of hiring very welcoming, open-minded staff, um, and I think that us as a team working together provide an environment um, that the kids feel safe coming to us with. Um, and I think that alone just makes these kids feel safe and feel comfortable coming to us with anything that they have, any needs they have, and um, we just kind of support that and, like Davina was saying, find outlets for them to, to, yeah. To explore who they are. Yes. I think that our organization can continue providing a safe environment for these kids um, to come to us with any problems or issues or desires or wants that they have. Um, like Davina was saying, we hire really, or Davina hires really great, open-minded, welcoming staff, and we work really well together as a team to provide an environment where these kids are comfortable coming to us, and um, we're really supportive of providing and reaching out to these community outlets so these kids do feel supported and um, kind of in finding themselves and... And being proud of who they are. Yes. Yeah, so I think that's, that's, that's the, big, the big issue here is that we're, I mean, these girls come to us with, with so much pain and hurt and they, they come to us from an environment where they're just trying to survive. And our job is to try to provide an environment where they're gonna thrive. So by just, giving them as many options as possible, whether it's music, art, dance, um, just the different org service organizations that they can be introduced to. And just by having our wonderful staff who provide such um, uh, great modeling for these, these young ladies, it's just really, um, I, I think it's great because they, they can pick and choose who they want to be like or what maybe what they want to do when they grow up and, um, and to see that, I mean, there's so many, we have younger, older staff uh, with all different interests. So it's really kind of fun for the girls to just be working with all of these supportive people so that they can just get out of that shell and flap their wings and experience, um, again, life. Oh, my favorite movie is The, the Bells of St. Mary's. And I really enjoy that movie because it's just about um, it's about uh, this this uh, group of, of people who uh, j just innocence and these these nuns who are trying to help these youth and it's just it's 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 got a lot of humor and it's really um, just the courageousness of people just advocating for these youth and trying to save this school. It's really it's just just really a fun movie. 
my favorite movie is Happy Gilmore. I could watch it every day and it would still make me laugh just like I was watching it for the first time. That was a good one. My favorite movie is, um, I think, Karina Karina because it's like set in the 50s and it's with my favorite little actress, I don't even know her name, um, but the dad, I think Whoopi Goldberg comes in as a, as a new, she's like the new nanny or something and the dad is really accepting of her and it's just such a good movie. My favorite color is the color of the uh, sunset and sunrise and I think it, it's because it just it depicts uh, a new day and I think that that's something that, uh, that we, we try to do with our young ladies is, is really just try to emphasize to them that every day is a new day. My favorite color is green. Um, that's been my favorite color for as long as I can remember. I think it's because it's the color of my eyes and that's always been a feature that I've liked of myself. So it just makes me happy and proud, I guess. My favorite color is yellow. Um, I think for me, yellow is about being positive and bright and sunshiny. Um, and I think I try to do that with the kids we work with. I think I try to be really positive and um, kind of just accepting of whatever they bring to the table. And I think that kind of just provides an awesome environment where they feel comfortable coming to me with 